It's probably one of the most wearable men's ouds that I've ever come across. Just so easy to wear. Hey, what's up guys, it's Josh here. Today I wanna to do a little review on Montal's Oud Musk. Now this fragrance was suggested to me by a subscriber. I definitely wanna encourage you guys to give me some suggestions down below because every now and again, I will just pull the trigger and get that fragrance right away. And that is something I did with this one, Montal's Oud Musk. I think it came out in 2010. If not, I'll put, it, I'll put it down below. But this just smells like a cornerstone style fragrance. It smells a little bit similar to other niche fragrances that I've smelled before, but it's overall not trying to do anything kind of crazy or different it's just trying to give you a very classic very high quality take on literally oud and musk that's kind of what the fragrance goes for and that's what the fragrance accomplishes in my opinion you know this fragrance seems simple in a good way and it's funny when i looked up the notes it doesn't have that many notes so i'm like thank goodness because it smells so simple to me and i didn't want to think there was going to be like 30 notes or something in there because it doesn't smell like that to me the notes we got here are surprise surprise Oud, musk, saffron, ebony wood, vetiver, and amber. This fragrance doesn't smell, in my opinion, like Tuscan leather, but it has this little bits of something in here that reminds me a little bit of Tuscan leather. Not the same style of fragrance at all. Totally its own different style of fragrance. This is closer to just more of the niche style oud fragrances. The pros, this fragrance is really robust in my opinion. The very first couple days when I was spraying this, I actually just wanted to keep smelling my hand. It just smelled really good really high quality you know something great for work very easy to wear too oud is a style of fragrance that's pretty unique in my opinion it's more mature people who usually like oud like more mature style scents it's a more mature style smell it's not really something i smell on maybe people under 25 or people in high school or real bubblegummy style people nowhere near that it's really robust niche level and it can be off-putting to some people but one thing i really liked about this one is that it's probably one of the most wearable men's ouds that i've ever come across just so easy to wear it just screams signature scent in my opinion something that i wouldn't mind wearing all the time and i could see a lot of people just picking this up being great as a signature scent 100 percent it seems like it was maybe the first of its kind or it just did something a lot of fragrances were doing and didn't try to do anything extra just did a very classic classic, very likable men's smell, and I just really like it. It's one of those few fragrances that does simple good in a right way. I always have respect for Oud. It's not really my favorite personally, and this is probably one of the most wearable Ouds that I could really think of. Maybe Oud Men Realm is a little bit easier to wear than this, but overall, definitely one of the easiest Ouds that I've ever smelled to wear in my opinion. The cons is I would say, it's not really 100% a con, but I would say the Oud, for certain people, it's just, it's a love it or hate it. If, if you like Oud, it's gonna be in here. If you don't like Oud, it's definitely there. It doesn't smell like something for somebody in high school. It doesn't smell like something for people really, in my opinion, under 25. It has a little bit of this work style vibe. I, I think this would probably excel the best in work. Overall, just not really youthful. This one doesn't really try to do anything groundbreaking. Like I said, I, I've smelled a lot of fragrances that try to do this kind of DNA, but it's more touched up. It's more in its own direction and off, you know, which I usually tend to appreciate, but for this one, I actually like just how easy to wear it is and it's just something that I, I would not mind wearing, would not mind wearing it as a signature scent. This doesn't really do anything groundbreaking or new, I had to put that in there. Maybe as a con for some people at some time, but I actually almost think it's a pro because I like how simple it is. This was probably reformulated. This has somewhat average projection. When you first spray it on, it seems like it's going to be really full, it's got a really manly, noticeable style of smell. Getting out into the world it wasn't cutting through other scents very good windy outdoor environments it really wasn't holding on for more than like maybe an hour hour and a half two hours so this was a very average style projection it's wearable but definitely isn't overkill and usually with niche fragrances and oud fragrances they usually are really really strong noticeable style fragrances this one's kind of right down the middle but again it wasn't bad it's totally wearable that's pretty much the only cons to this guys i'll be very interested to see what you think about the other montels because i think they have like a honey oud and like a bunch of different oud style fragrances and it's really got me interested interested in trying them just because of how much I like this. If I was going to give this a smell rating, I'd give this between an 8 to an 8.5. Robust, high quality, good smell. Doesn't do anything super unique, Doesn't isn't groundbreaking, but at the same time, really enjoyed this one. I think a lot of other people would as well. Likeability, I'm going to have to give this one an 8. 
the most likable oo that you can get. There's gonna be a certain amount of people who just, it's not for them, I totally get that. This is one of the more likable ouds, and I think a lot of times you wear this, it's just gonna smell good in a lot of situations. So I'm gonna give it an eight for likability. And longevity and projection, I'm gonna give this probably a 7.5 to an eight. It's right down the middle. It's not beast mode at all, but it's not really weak either. So very, very solid. This one's probably gonna excel the best at work. I would say it's like a totally 100% work fragrance in my opinion. But for some reason, I, I think of this more as like a signature scent to me personally, but it would definitely go good with work. And date is okay. Again, if this is your signature scent, you know, I would wear it wherever I go. So I would wear it on a date. I do think it'd be okay, but it doesn't scream date style fragrance to me. Not a powerhouse style fragrance, not really a gym style fragrance, but overall really enjoyed this one, was pleasantly surprised. And I gotta say, after a few days, it wasn't as mind blowing as when I first smelled it. Cause like, like I said, when I first smelled it, it was like, man, I really enjoy that. I kind of want to keep smelling. Overall, I still have a lot of respect for it. I would still love to wear it. A little honeymoon face has kind of sizzled out a little bit. And it actually is, I think somewhat affordable when I was looking online. I mean, I could have sworn it was like $80 for a three ounce of this. I was like, wow. So I didn't know that Montals and Mancera's actually can get pretty cheap online. I know they're really high quality. I've tried Cedra Brose. I've tried Red Tobacco. So now I'm trying this. I think this might be my first Montel. I think their sister companies comment down below if I'm wrong. But anyways, guys, my first Montel. Really, really liking this one. What's your favorite in the Montel Oud line? I'd be very interested to see down below. But we're on the road to 25,000 subscribers and I couldn't do it without any of you guys' help. You guys are the best. I'm having a great day out here. Hopefully having a great day at home. See you all in the next video. Peace.